Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. This is your host AJ Aguilar. Today I'm going to show you is how to check whether the battery is dying. And if it's not the battery, then what is it that's keeping your car from starting up the way it should? You ready? Set. So to check to see if it's the battery, you want to first turn on your car. See? I have a 2014 Acura ILX which is an engine start stop button. So now that you see that your car doesn't turn on, the first thing you need to do and have with you at all times is essential jumper cables like this. You always want to have your jumper cables because you never know what could happen in the middle of the road. You don't know, for example, your battery dies and you always want to have your cables with you in case of an emergency. So keep that on the checklist. Now the second thing you need are tools, tools, okay? I like them, they work really well. Whatever preferences you have, always have tools. The next thing is connect the booster cables properly. How do you know that? There's a red one and a black one. Your battery has a red plus positive sign and some cars do, some cars don't. The other side is supposed to have a black cover. That means that's the negative charge. So you're gonna connect the red one with the red one and the black one with the black one. So the next thing you wanna do is connect your jumper cables over to your battery, which is gonna allow the battery to give the energy to the car that you need to turn on. The next thing you want to do with the other side of the cables is connect them to your car that is not working, but you got to do it properly. Again, red with red, black with black. Once both cars are connected, like as you see it here, you want to let it rest for at least a minute or two while the charge passes through. Now, after waiting for at least a minute or two, you want to turn on your car. Wow, as you can see, that's how you know it was the battery. That means, that means that your battery is dying. So as you can see, my car, it's the battery's dead. And sometimes you just need to, you know, let it charge a little bit and it should be good. But if it does it again, then you know that your battery is dying or it's about to die really, really, really soon. So make sure you always stay tuned. So once your car turns on, that means it was the battery. Your battery is dying, it's dead, it's going to die, which means you need to go to a nearest automobile shop mechanic place and buy one. It only costs you probably, you know, 80 to $100, depending on which one you want. If you want the really expensive one, 120, et cetera. You know, just check it out because you don't want to be having your car dead in the middle of a date. You're out with your girl and all of a sudden doesn't turn on. What? You don't want that guy. So make sure you keep it up. Make sure step by step, always, always take care of your car all the time. The next thing you want to do after your car turns on is you got to disconnect them one by one. For example, you take the red or the black one and you take the other one. Okay? You set them down on the floor. You get the other side and disconnect them at the same time. Take one and you take the other one. Now that they're already all of them disconnected from both ends, it doesn't matter whether you touch them, it's not gonna make a little spark, nothing's gonna happen. You close this, you close the other side, and you turn off the end. Now you know, step by step, how to check whether your battery is dead and how to jumpstart your car properly. So then, remember, if you aren't laughing, you ain't living. Peace. What's up? Stay tuned. So that's what it is. <laughs>
Hello, ladies. Hello. But make sure you don't have. Make sure you don't keep your other cables on the other side separately because of the different things you want to do.